When the BC government finally approved a plan to build a luxury glacier ski resort in the Kootenays Purcell Mountains last week, many in the region were shocked. Locals are now vowing to fight tooth and nail to have the plan killed. I'm not advocating these things, but I do think there will be civil disobedience and there will certainly be protests. I think we're going to try do what we need to do to keep Jumbo wild and what that will look like will depend on each and every individual and each and every group that's involved. The Jumbo Glacier development proposal has been controversial since it was first introduced over two decades ago. It's been stuck in bureaucratic and environmental limbo since then. Seven premiers later, last Tuesday, the government gave the go-ahead. I recognize and respect uh, that there have been differing views on, the, on this project, but after more than 20 years of, of this extensive review and consultation, it was time to make a decision. It's divided our communities and we, we wanted it over. We wanted a decision from, from government. The decision to move ahead now is reviving that opposition across the Kootenays, who say the development would damage pristine wilderness and harm wildlife, especially a fragile population of grizzly bears. The year-round resort in the Jumbo Valley would include two hotels and 1,300 residential units. 23 lifts in a 3,000-meter gondola would attract over 700,000 visitors to the area, creating 750 permanent jobs. Aboriginal groups are already threatening blockades and court challenges. The opposition is vowing to kill the decision if it forms government. And if you really want to look at what the government is doing, how long it took, uh, you'd see that they must agree with that too. I mean, uh, they're going forward to the, with this presumably for their, for their own political reasons, but the, the, the economic and environmental arguments are compelling. The arguments from First Nations are compelling, and I think the government should have listened to the people of the region. I think this long drawn out environmental assessment process should be a sign to investors that there may be something afoot here that they may want to pay serious attention to. Expecting future blockades, RCMP in the region say they may have to bolster staff to deal with any future civil disobedience. Even though Jumbo Glacier Resort has been given the green light from government, there's still no guarantee it'll go ahead.